What's up, you got Danita, this is Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can really get your body back after babies. And I've got Monica Diaz here, super excited because she is a mom of three. And not only is she a successful business owner, she's had to work on being effective and efficient to truly figure out how she can get her body back while being so busy. And so today, what is a great topic? We're going to go into some techniques and some tips that she has learned that she's overcome all the obstacles as being a mom that are the non-traditional ways. And I find them to be so fascinating. And I think what a lot of moms will be able to relate to this. You are listening to Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. We are the original Booty Bands and Barbells, where we create long-term results with our three-step system. Transform your mind and body with the first women's complete home gym, top-rated fitness app, and our highest quality nutrition, all at bootybands.com. I'll just go ahead and hand the mic over to her and ask her about some of the tips that has really helped her. Thanks for having me here today. I am so grateful to be a part of the Booty Bands community. Uh, using the barbells, all of the bands, all of the new products that have come out, it's really, really helped me as a mom. So thank you, Danita, for having me on the show today. Awesome. So you've said a few things that have been really awesome in which I want to go over today. Um, one of them you talked about, you know, as a mom, you have literally 60 seconds to just grab something on the go. And I thought that to be really interesting and fascinating. I think a lot of moms can relate. So can you tell us more what you meant on that? Yeah. So I've got, a, I've got three kids and mornings are crazy. And then after school is crazy. And sometimes we don't always have our ducks in a row and, you know, our day isn't lined perfectly. We didn't meal prep for the week. And so a lot of the times I'm, I'm telling my kids, Hey, we've got, you know, 15 minutes to be across town to get to the volleyball game. And then I have 60 seconds literally to think about, okay, I've got to get my shoes on and I've got to get a drink and I'm feeling a little bit hungry and I know I'm going to be starving in an hour. So what can I grab in 60 seconds that is going to sustain me? That's going to give me a good balance of macros, my fat, my proteins, my carbs, and make it so that I'm not hangry mom in an hour, but I'm still ready to go and I have that energy for my kids and can come home and make dinner. So for me, I used to grab, you know, like go straight for fruit and say, oh, okay, I'll grab an apple, a banana, and, you know, um, a fig bar. But Danita has taught me with the macro system and and learning the balance between what your body needs and what it needs to sustain is, hey, now, if I have 60 seconds to grab something, I'm going to grab a fig bar for my my carbs. I'm gonna grab water, or I really like the no calorie, like sparkling uh, seltzers, like LaCroix or any of my favorite brands. And protein shake, the, oh, the Booty Bands protein, if you guys haven't tried it, is amazing. So putting that in a shaker cup with some almond milk, shake it on the go. Um, and I usually grab a couple of extra string cheese for my kids because once they see me eating healthy, then they're ready to go too. So, so let me ask you, when you were just grabbing fruit before, let's say like your banana and your apple, you said, why was that? What did you learn about like macros? You learned that those were all carbs, right? Was that the, your, the was that the awareness you had when I had mentioned, Hey, look, a banana and, and apples carbs. Yeah. I didn't realize that before. I didn't realize, you know, Hey, great that you grabbed a fruit, but those are carbs. So, um, I didn't have, you know, any healthy fats in there. I didn't have any protein in there. So incorporating healthy fats and proteins is really what's going to sustain, uh, and make it so that I'm not putting on that extra weight. Yeah, and the the biggest thing, how your blood sugar plays a huge role on how your waistline is. So what's happening there is Monica, when she's just grabbing fruit, yes, a lot of people think it's healthy, but when you find out that it's just spiking your blood sugar and your insulin is having to release from your pancreas and go up to lower that blood sugar down, the biggest problem that can happen is when you're doing that all the time, you get what's called insulin resistance because your body starts to protect the cells from the sugar than it does the 
the blood. So w then what happens is the, the sugar has to go somewhere and it's going to go into the adipose tissue. So if you're constantly going into what's called a whiplash effect of your blood sugar where you're just running out the door in that 60 seconds and you're grabbing the fruit, you're spiking the blood sugar, which in turn is going to make your waistline a lot bigger. So Monica, what she learned is I'm going to focus on balancing that out where she's been able to get her body back after three kids because she's been learning to grab something a little bit different. What else would you have about 60 seconds? What are some other tips that you might have there for moms that are on the go? So we talked about the protein shakes. We talked about um, jerky is another great one to have in the car. Uh, for myself, for kids, breakfast burritos that have like ground turkey and vegetables uh, wrapped up in a tortilla that you can pop in the microwave for 30 seconds to go. Uh, smoothies you can make with protein. All goes back to when you're at the grocery store and what you're thinking and what you're buying. If you're doing a grocery pickup order, remembering those things. So I think that it would be really great. And Danita, I'm sure that you have it. Tell people where they can find those easy uh, items to grab when they are shopping for things and they're running out of ideas. Where are places that they can find those ideas? Yeah, so in the Booty Bands and Barbells app, we have a, we have uh, many different sections where it's like pick your workout, pick your challenge, pick your equipment, and then there's a section that says um, pick your recipes. And we have um, a mom on there. Her name's Alice. You guys have probably seen her in the Booty Bands and Barbells community where she has made a lot of fun, different, um, balanced macro meals that are under 10 minutes. It is phenomenal what she comes up with, and she's got all these different varieties. As well, we have a grocery shopping lists that are very easy and doable that are in there as well that you can download and just um, print those off and run to the store. Um, Monica also went to the grocery store and we filmed her by actually what she's going to be meal prepping for the week. And so that will also be in the app uh, that you'll be able to check out as well. So Awesome, loved all that. The next question I have is you mentioned about getting creative when getting your body back after a baby. What does that mean? So before I had kids, I, it was easy to go to the gym every single day and spend a good hour, hour and a half working out. After I had kids, it was much harder to do that. It's not impossible and I still get to the gym from time to time. I have a really convenient gym now where while my oldest is at karate, I have an hour, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to go into the gym that's in the same building and work out. So it's getting creative with that. Instead of, you know, joining a private gym that doesn't have that, I'm at the city rec center <laughs> and it's perfect for me and it's actually cheaper. Um, you know, so, so getting the gym time, but outside of the gym, if you're finding that that is too difficult for you right now, get creative with it. Take your kids to the park and instead of using that time to sit on the bench and scroll through social media like I've done plenty of times, I take an active approach and say, hey, uh, I want myself to be healthy for longevity in my family and I want my kids to see the importance of being healthy. So. Hey kids, let's create an obstacle course out of, you know, the floor is lava and let's let's do an obstacle course out of this jungle gym right now and get involved with with my kids. You know, we play floor is lava, we play tag, we opt to ride our bikes or rollerblade or walk to the park instead of driving there and my kids love it and they look forward to it all the time. Another option you know, say you're at home, it's a Saturday, kids are, you know, watching cartoons and kids are, will always choose the path of least resistance. You know, they're always going to stay in front of the TV. It's up to the parents to say, hey, let's get out and get active. So if my kids have been in front of the TV for longer than 30 minutes, I say, hey, let's, let's, we're going to pause this for a little bit. We're going to get outside. And, um, it can be, you know, helping mow the lawn which I actually love to do. And I have used my booty bands while mowing the lawn, which is actually really fun and funny at the same time. Um, pulling weeds, if I'm on a long phone conversation, uh, I will go outside and pull weeds while I'm doing it and remember like proper form when I'm standing and bending down, going out on the trampoline and playing duck, duck, goose with the kids. I mean, there's so, the options are really endless. It really just takes that tiny switch of our mindset to say, 
It's still a workout, even if it's not inside the walls of a gym. It's still a workout. Give yourself huge accolades for that, for choosing to get up and move your body. That's really what it comes down to, is, is making the simple choice to get up and move your body, and it'll make a world of difference in yours and your kids' lives. Yeah, I also noticed that once you guys got kids, you ended up bringing your gym even inside your home. So tell us how that kind of could have been more efficient and effective for you guys as well by having a home gym. My husband, he's an awesome dad and he always puts the kids first, but he really, really likes to release stress by working out. Sometimes he has a hard time getting to the gym too. So what we've done is the weight set that I bought from Booty Bands, it's so cute. I go out in the garage and there he is lifting the barbells and getting his workout in the gym. And I never thought that I would see that. I should take a picture and post it. it I've really, really loved having the weights and um, when I'm not out, you know, mowing the lawn, doing things with the kids, getting that good, good weight, because that's really what's helped me burn most of the fat is, you know, yes, the meal prepping is absolutely necessary and then having the heavy weights there too to build that muscle. Can you talk to us about mom guilt? What does that mean to you? And if somebody's going through it, how can you help them through it? Uh, so we have a lot of pressure as moms to do all of the things, whether that's, you know, I mean, in, in my scenario, it's my husband worked out of town for several years. And so it was waking up, getting all three of my kids ready, one that was a newborn, getting them off to school on time, getting the, the newborn to daycare, and then showing up to my job and and trying to just keep everything together and performing and doing a great job at my job I'm in sales and so you know my mindset has to be really good I have to balance it all taking each day at a time putting one foot in front of the other and not getting overwhelmed I'm a I like lists I like to write things down and then check them off so find what works for you lists might not work for you but find what works for you and for your personality be gentle on yourself at first you're adjusting to a a lot, I look back and I say, wow, I was really doing a lot. I was taking care of a lot, you know, breastfeeding, making sure my milk supply was, was sufficient. All of those things I look back and I said, how did I do it? But in the moment you just, you get it done and you have hard days or you have days where you're going to cry, <laughs> you know, but, uh, remember that there's plenty of moms who have done it before you that have had less resources and, and less help and, and less, you know, online guides to success like booty bands to help us get through and, and really give us the workouts, give us the form that we're supposed to have for these workouts. It's really makes it, you know, pretty easy. It just all comes down to mindset and organizing your time. Uh, so remember to appreciate yourself, appreciate your body, give yourself whatever the self-love looks like. If that's taking a bath or going on a walk it, or, you know, getting your nails done or giving yourself a, a head massage, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but, but making sure that you're, you know, giving appreciation to your body and to yourself first so that you can give that back to others. Love it. You, you've done some really cool things that has helped you even become a more excellent mom. And some of these tricks, I wanted to be able to uh, let them also know what these are. One of them is called toy rotation. So I'm a really mad mom if my house is a mess. If we have too many toys in the house, I box up half of them and put them in the garage. And then the toys that are left there Everything has a place. My kids can organize it very easily. I can say, hey, we need to pick up our toys before we go do X, Y, Z. And they know and it's easy for them to put away because everything fits in a spot. Then when I find that they're starting to get bored of those toys or say I have a big Zoom conference that I need to be on, I will take the toys that they've been playing with for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and I'll bring the the toys that I've stored away in the garage, I'll bring those out and voila, it's like we just went to the store and bought a whole bunch of new toys that they get to play with that keep them busy forever. And then I put the other toys, I rotate them out on a, you know, probably a monthly basis so that they always have new toys to play with and they're excited. They're like, hey, I thought that, you know, we lost this one and here it is and I'm so excited. And so yeah, it worked out great. 
That's awesome. You also have another trick that I've seen, which is the snack drawer and also laying out snacks that your kids can easily grab while that's on their level. So when our kids get home from school, kids are always hungry when they get home from school. They've been going, you know, seven or eight hours of learning. Uh, they maybe got a, a fast lunch, but probably didn't eat very much of it because they're having too much talking with their friends, or they didn't eat it at all because they didn't like what was being served. So I, I promise you that your kids are going to be hungry when they get home from school. So just one step ahead of them, they're going to gravitate towards simple carbs if there's nothing laid out for them. They're going to go for the chips and things that have instant gratification. And this goes for moms too. Uh, if we're hungry, we go towards the things that are going to satisfy us the fastest, which is usually salty snacks, sweet snacks, you know, things that aren't, that aren't great for our, our health or our gut. So do a veggie tray. Put out uh, carrots and bell peppers and uh, just an array. Do a colorful veggie tray, even if you know that they don't like green peppers or that they hate broccoli or whatever it is. Put it out anyway because it gets them used to it being there and I promise you that they will eat more because it's there, it's ready to go, rather than them um, you know, going straight for the chips and things that are going to satiate them uh, quickly but not satisfy them long term. Uh, with a snack drawer, I have an assortment of healthy snacks and uh, some sweets, you know, just a good assortment. Not everything is healthy, but the majority of it is. I put it in a drawer where all three of my kids can reach it and they have access to that anytime. Your simple carbs, your donuts, anything like that, their cookies. If they're wanting something like that, I don't tell them no, but I say, hey, we're not having cookies right now, and then I will make it a point to add a cookie or two to the dinner plate that we're serving so that it doesn't stand out, that it's, in, that it's being served with everything else, and that has shown me that most of the time they really want to eat all of the other things and maybe they'll take a couple of bites of the cookies, but they're not going to eat five or 10 of the cookies because it's the only thing that's in front of them. Yeah, I've never seen kids eat so many carrots and celery and crackers and uh, just healthy foods when um, Monica has done these snack trays after school. It's been so cool to see the kids just grabbing though, right as they're like playing, they're grabbing a carrot and they eat it and they run off and go like, dude, it's just, it's so fascinating to see that. And I thought, what a great, great way to do that. One other thing, and I think I talk about it during grocery shopping, kids don't care what vitamins mean. If I tell my four-year-old that, hey, you should eat carrots because it has vitamin C in it, he's going to say, Vit that sounds lame. What is vitamin C? But if I tell him, hey, carrots make you see in the dark, he's going to be like, what? Like Superman powers, you know? He will eat an entire carrot or for any vegetable, look it up moms and find out, you know, what, what vegetables or what vitamins do green peppers have and incorporate that into something that makes the kid faster or stronger or that can see better or do their favorite sport better. Uh, you're not lying to them. It's totally true. It's, it's absolutely building the, you know, amino acids and everything that they need for their insights and just put it out in layman's terms for them that, Hey, this is going to make you run faster. And I'd like, <laughs> I'd like responses and comment to tell me if it works for you or not. Love it. I think this is all extremely super helpful. So thank you so much for your time today. If, um, if there's one thing that you can leave us, a mom is just on the other end. She's about ready to lose her mind. She's caught in a self-sabotage loop and she's just feeling so overwhelmed. What is something that maybe you did in that time that can really help her through this time? Um, ask for help for sure, whether whoever that is in your circle, everybody has a circle. So ask for help. Um, people are, are wanting and willing to help so that you can focus on yourself. If you're really at that breaking point and that you, you need some alone time, give that to yourself. Uh, for me, it was as simple as bubble baths and lighting candles and saying, hey, I'm going to take 30 minutes, so don't talk to me. Um, go and read your books or, or do whatever it is. I kind of use, you know, I don't let my kids watch a lot of screen time, but when I need some mom time to just relax and be, that's when I let them watch whatever show it is that they want to watch. 
so it's not, it's, you know, so it's kind of a, a, a treat for them that they get to watch a show. And then I know that they're going to be occupied getting out, taking a walk, taking in the beauty of nature and really having the gratitude of you have everything, everything that you need, you have right now and quit focusing on the things that you don't have and that you wish you had. And when your kids are older and when they can do this for themselves, things will be so much better. No, I mean, I've got a 10, six and four year old and everybody that has a teenager or has been through the teenage years tells me that like giddy up cowgirl because it's going to get even harder. It's physically hard when they're young and it's mentally hard when they're older. So for me right now, I listen to podcasts about, you know, best practices for teenagers and getting ready for that and having those pre-conversations now to, you know, the pre-puberty stages and, and gearing up and getting ready for that. And then you just ride out the waves, girl. <laughs> The biggest takeaway was that Monica was prepared with every single one of these. So whether it be meal prep on 60 seconds, you have to hurry up and grab something. She's preparing herself to make sure she's balanced in all of her macros. When she is trying to get her body back, she is prepares her day ahead, knowing that she's going to be doing the workouts with her kids. The other thing that she did is she's when she has to jump on a Zoom call or a business call, what she does is she prepares to do the toy rotation. So she brings out toys that they haven't seen in a while. And right now she's talking about as, you're, as her kids are going to be teenagers, she's a step ahead. So there's something about being a step ahead and constantly preparing that, it's, that it seems to me that your success is, is because of that. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for um, being on here today. This was super helpful. Hopefully, I can give um, a mom out there a little bit of some tips and so that she can also get that same success. So thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.